I, I, once, I once met a woman who, upon our introduction, stared at me for the longest time. Finally, she spoke up and said, Sir, I do believe you are the ugliest man I have ever met. <laughs> I said, Well, madam, that may be true, but I can't help that. She said, What do you mean you can't help that? You could have stayed home. <laughs> Showed up for the surrender, wearing new duds, new sword, beard trimmed, cheeks pink and a glow, boots and shine, spurs and jingle. Never did such a fine looking soldier serve such a questionable cause. What I wanted most out of life was to have people like me. I also wanted their respect. Now, when I came out of the woods at 22 and a half, I quickly decided I could have it both ways if I had the right profession. I tried everything. I even tried soldiering during the Black Hawk War. I lost a lot of blood in that conflict. The Mississippi mosquitoes were savage that year. <laughs> and we here highly resolved that these dead shall not have died in vain. This nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth.